Welcome back, citizens of Tamriel. I'm Cal, and today we're talking Nords. This is my Dragon Knight tank, all done up Sovngarde style. Originally designed as something of a self-insert, Caldron here is the tallest character you can create in the Elder Scrolls Online. High Elves are equally tall here, but Nords are cooler. He's rocking the seaworthy beard and a premium hairstyle, but otherwise I've kept most of the sliders reasonable and I've laid off the collectibles a bit. This character should be banging his head on every doorway in Tamriel, but for some reason, things are just built bigger in this game. Now, I hate to admit it, but the Sovngarde Guard style is one of my favorites. I honestly prefer to use it as a set. There are a couple of other pieces here and a couple more that you could mix in, but it's very distinctive and it has numerous undiable bits and bobs, which make it hard to use in conjunction with a lot of other motifs. Now, while I love this set, I hate that Zenimax thinks it's okay to make parts of an outfit or motif undiable. It is 2023, and that should be completely unacceptable in any MMO. But, since they've dictated that gold will be part of this outfit, I have no choice but to lean in. Hence, our golden boy hair. Now, as for collectibles, I've turned on a few. The Standing Wave hairstyle, Old Salt's chin trinket facial hair, and I'm using the Minstrel personality. I'm also using the double diagonal face war paint to get the white stripes on my face. Now, I've always liked to play a paladin-esque character wielding a two-handed sword. Back in my early MMO days, grinding away on Ultima Online, I played this sort of character exclusively. I like to think most of us start here, limiting ourselves in some way to create a character that is more of a self-insert before branching out and using the character creator as a tool for artistic expression, which is what I do nowadays. The outfit here is somewhat less creative, being 100% Sovngarde other than those two pieces I mentioned earlier, which is the sword and the helmet. Okay, so when I originally recorded this video, I thought that the Sovngarde stalwart motif was actually uh, a fairly expensive one, but it seems the last Skyrim celebration has created quite the supply here, or most of the pages are going for less than 10,000 gold a piece. So uh, if you like this style, this is actually a great time to pick this up. Uh, it's not going to cost you too much. Of course, you could wait for the next Skyrim celebration, but we probably won't get one this year. I'm going to guess that if trends hold, we'll see the next one in 2024. For the dies, it's gold on gold with divine gold and patron's gold. And then there's a bit of shadow foot gray and motif master brown for the cloth and leather bits. For the pet and mount, I've selected the Sovngarde bear mount and the Sovngarde guar pet. I had a chance to match them up at one point, but I just couldn't justify the crowns to get the little bear. Now, I'm running out of character designs to share. With all the new Sylvan-esque collectibles added with Firesong, I am working on perfecting my spriggan theme character that you saw in my last video. I do hope to share a slider video for that character soon, but we'll have to see. Now, before I wrap up, I would of course like to give a huge thank you to everyone who has supported my channel, especially my patrons. If you'd like to join them and claim some extra goodies, be sure to hit the link on screen now. That's going to do it for me today, guys. I'll be back again real soon with another ESO housing tutorial for you all. Bye for now, everybody. You know, last year I actually decorated an in-room specifically for this character. Be sure to click the link in the end screen to check that out next.